Hey, welcome back. Um, uh, time for the next video. Uh, today I thought we would talk a little bit about auto completion. Um, so auto completion, um, you've already seen Emacs has a good amount of auto completion built in. Uh, it's got tab completion on commands. Um, if you did a little digging, there are some, some old techniques that have been around a long time. But auto completion today under Emacs uh, is a lot a lot more substantial than it used to be uh, back when I first started using it. So um, just I want to show you one thing from history here. So let me just go to, I'll go to the scratch buffer. And one of the things that was really amazing, and, and Emacs has had this forever, is it's had the ability to do completion within your buffers. And that was um, tied into the command meta slash. And I don't know what the actual command is. So let's do control H K to describe key and I'll type meta slash, and it says that it runs the command diabrev expand. Um, and so it expands previous word dynamically. So I'll show you how that works. Uh, let's say I've been doing a project and it's got a bunch of words in it and um, you know, I'm doing some coding, so maybe I have um, uh, bagpipe and ball, um, balagula, uh, for, for those of you that don't know, that is a Yiddish word that really we've got to bring back. Um, I think it literally means something like truck driver, but back in the day it was kind of like a, a mob goon or thug was a balagula. So really good word. Let's, let's get it back into the lexicon. Um, and you, these are just strewn amongst a big file or maybe you have 10 buffers open with all these things. And what would happen is let's say you're trying to come up with, oh, I want to put that word in or one of these words in. So I'll just type the word B and then alt slash, and it'll cycle through all the word. Now notice buffer, buffer, by the bootstrap. These are words that are also in the other buffer that's open. So if I want, you know, BA something, slash, 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 etc. cetera, um, really, really nice. One of the best features of Emacs. I was using it 100 years ago. Love it, love it, love it. Don't use it anymore, because we don't have to use it anymore. Um, that's because of um, the auto-completion. So, there are two main auto-completion engines out there that seem to be popular. One is autocomplete, and that's the one I use. And I'm just going to come over here to another window that's off the video and come on back and cut and paste the code for this. And I use the autocomplete package. Let's uh, start that running and installing. And uh, company is the other one. Um, some people really like company. I had been using autocomplete before I found out about company and it's always worked for me and I kind of like it and so I'm sticking with it. Um, so basically uh, we're installing it and we're just using the, 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 conf yeah, the default configuration. I'll put a link up to the autocomplete manual on the blog post um, so you can find all of that. And I'm turning it on all the time. So let's go back to that other buffer. And now if I type BA, notice that immediately, let's do that again. BA, we see all complete, but then if I wait a second, I get the rest. So BA, oh, Balagula. Um, and it does that with all the words, um, you know, in all my buffers. Same basic deal, you know, B, I guess it's not enough to complete on that one. So uh, well, we'll go with back to BA, Balagula, that was the last one we typed. Uh, I want ball that time, etc. Really, you know, CR, create, because create is up there in that commented line. Uh, hit tab, finish that up really nice, really powerful, really easy. Um, this can be used with all sorts of other tools to do IntelliSense kind of stuff. When we do Python development um, in a little bit, it'll pop up uh, modules and library definitions, all sorts of really cool stuff. Um, I'm using it I'm using it all the time. I'm not quite sold on that. I think I might want to turn it off for certain modes, um, but it definitely is really, really cool. I encourage you to check it out. Um, you know, some people don't like it. Uh, that's okay. Uh, but if you like it, there it is. Um, and also, you know, check out company mode. A lot of people like that as well. All right. So uh, as usual, uh, hope you're enjoying this. Hope you're getting stuff out of this. Leave comments on the blog. Uh, you know, um, comments, suggestions, um, criticisms. You know, to try and make it better. Uh, sorry, last couple of videos I've been doing from home where I have the ultimate loud clicky keyboard. Um, sorry. <laughs> All right, so until next time, uh, enjoy.